With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. What must be subtracted from this polynomial x cube minus six x square minus fifteen x plus eighty so that the result is exactly divisible by x square plus x minus twelve? So let us take our polynomial to be p of x. And the dividend, this part, the one which we have to divide with, b q of x. So we have our p of x. p of x is equals to x cube minus six x square minus fifteen x plus eighty. Then we have our q of x. q of x is equals to x square plus x minus twelve. We have to subtract some. Thing from this polynomial, so the result is divisible by q of x. So let the subtracting, let what we subtract be r of x, and let r of x be a x plus b. So the condition given is that we'll get some polynomial f of x, which is equals to p of x minus r of x, and this f of x should be divisible by q of x. First, let us find f of x. f of x is equal to p of x. p of x is x cube minus six x square minus fifteen x plus eighty minus of a x plus b. That is equal to x cube minus six x square minus fifteen x plus eighty minus a x minus b. Now we have our q of x. Q of x is equal to q of x is equals to x square plus x minus twelve. First, let us find the factors of q of x. We can find the factors of q of x if we assume that q of x is equals to zero. That means x square plus x minus twelve is equals to zero. Now we find the factors by splitting the middle term. In order to get minus twelve, if we multiply both the middle term coefficients, we'll have x square plus four x minus three x minus twelve is equal to zero. See if we plus four x and minus three x is plus x, and plus four into minus three is equal to minus twelve. The condition is satisfied. So we'll take x common here, x plus four, and minus three common here. X plus four is equals to zero. That implies if we take x plus four common, we'll be left with x minus three. That is equal to zero. So we have two cases here. First, we have case one. Case one is if we consider x plus four is equals to zero, then we get x is equals to minus four. And we have case two. Case two is if we assume X minus three is equals to zero. That implies x is equals to plus three. Now we have our two cases: x is equals to minus four or x is equals to plus three. Now we know that q of x should be the. We we should find the case such that q of x should be the dividend divisor of f of x, and f of x must be equal to zero if we divide with q of x. Q of x can also be written as x plus four and x minus three. These both are the factors of Q of x. So we have to assume that these both are the factors of f of x as well, and find the remainder. Remainder must be equal to zero. So if we take f of four, and if we take f of, if we take f of minus four, and if we take f of three, they must be equal to zero. So first, let us find f of minus four. f of minus four is equals to minus four whole cube minus six into minus four whole square minus fifteen into minus four plus eighty minus a into minus four and minus b. So if we take minus four whole cube, then we have minus four fours are sixteen and sixteen fours are sixty four. So minus Sixty-four, then minus four whole square is sixteen, and sixteen six are minus 
96 and plus 15 fours are 60 then plus 80 minus minus a into minus 4 that is plus 4a minus b this is equal to 0 this is equals to 4a minus b minus 20 is equals to 0 that implies 4a minus b is equals to 20 this is our first equation now let us see f of 3 f of 3 is equals to 3 cube minus 6 into 3 square minus 15 into 3 plus 80 minus a into 3 minus b and this is equal to 0 so we have 27 minus 54 minus 45 plus 80 minus 3a minus b is equals to 0 this is equals to minus 3a minus b plus 8 is equals to 0 that is minus 3a minus b is equals to minus 8 now if we take multiply both the sides with minus 1 we get 3a plus b is equals to 8. This is equals to 2. Now, let us take the first and second equations. We have 4a minus b is equals to 20 and 3a plus b is equals to 8. Adding these both equations, minus b and plus b are cancelled. So, we have 7a is equals to 28. If 7a is equals to 28, then a is equals to 28 by 7. That is equals to 4. Now we know the value of a. We can easily find the value of b by substituting a in this formula. So, 3 into 4 plus b is equals to 8. b is equals to 8 minus 12. And 8 minus 12 is equals to minus 4. So we have the value of b as well. So r of x is equals to ax plus b. That is equals to 4x minus 4. Now we know the r of x value. So 4x minus 4. The final statement is therefore 4x minus 4 should be subtracted from p of x for it to be exactly divis divisible by q of x. This is our final answer. This is our final answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.